Hello, I'm here with Dana Redro from Yoga for the Ages. Um, Dana, you are a registered yoga teacher. Correct. And then we have Rachel who's helping us demonstrate the move that you're about to teach us. Yes. I'm very excited about today's move because it's my favorite move. Mm -hmm. The name of the move in Sanskrit is Adho Mukha Shivanasana, which means literally downward facing dog. Oh. So I don't, do you own a dog? I don't know. I have two kitty cats. Oh, you have kitty cats. Okay. Well, you, then you like you like that last pose we did. Yes. Um, as far as a uh, downward facing dog, my point with if you owned a dog was, have you ever seen the way a dog gets up after it's been laying down and it stretches right. and it sticks its hiney in the air? I know what cats do that too. <laughs> right, right. So this that's where this pose originated from, right. and that's how it got its name. Mm -hmm. This pose is actually very wonderful for calming your mind. Mm -hmm. It rests your heart, because mm -hmm. when you're in downward facing dog, your head is actually lower than your heart. Mm -hmm. So it brings the heart rate down a little bit. It actually fights depression. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And when I'm teaching my classes, I like to tell my students, this is your mini vacation. Mm -hmm. So anytime we go into downward dog, you're getting a mini vacation. Right. It's a wonderful pose. So let's get started. We're gonna start again by bringing our hands under our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Knees are going to be hip distance apart and under the hips directly. Okay, spine is nice and flat. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to walk our hands forward probably about three, four, five inches. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that the crease in your wrist mm -hmm. lines up with the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick up that right hand pressing the base of the right palm into the mat. So begin pressing very firmly, every square inch, all the way down to our fingertips, into the mat. Again, let's do the left hand. Press the base of the left palm all the way down, mm -hmm. pressing every square inch. Make sure your fingers are nice and wide apart because this is the base of our pose. That's where your strength is. Mm -hmm. Now, curl your toes under, pick up your knees, press the thighs back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and push your legs all the way back as far as you can. Now I want you to lift up onto your tiptoes with an inhale. Exhale, I want you to bend your right knee and press your left foot down into your mat. Nice stretch for the back of the leg. Let's inhale up again. Exhale, let's press that right heel down and bend the left knee. That's very good for me. My yes. hamstrings are very flexible. So it's wonderful for the hamstrings. Let's inhale up again. Exhale, bend the right knee again. Press that left heel down. Inhale up. Bend the left knee, press the right heel down. Last time, inhale up. And keep both knees straight. Press your feet down into the ground. Heels go down. Mm -hmm. Press into your hands. Reach up through your tailbone. Draw your belly button in towards your spine and focus on your breath. Let's all take a deep inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Again, deep inhale. All right, bend your knees, come back down to your mat. So we're gonna do this one more time, but I want you to walk your hands back up and sit up for a moment. Take a breath here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to watch you guys as you do this. So go ahead, I'll talk you through it. Walk mm -hmm. your hands forward again. <clears throat> so your wrists are under your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Knees are hip distance apart. Now walk those hands forward again about four or five inches. Line your wrist up with the front of your mat. Spread those fingers out and press firmly into your mat. Curl your toes under and pick up those knees, straighten the legs, downward facing dog. Reaching up through your tailbone. Feeling a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Rotate those outer arms in. Now I want you to do something. I want you to bend your knees, both of you. Bend them a little deep. Now reach your tailbone even higher. Beautiful. Now mm -hmm. keeping this movement here the same, mm -hmm. same body, I want you to straighten the legs. Now press the heels down. Ouch. Beautiful. So it's a little bit more of a stretch through the hamstrings. One more breath. Take a deep inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. 
Inhale again. And bend the knees, exhale, come back down to your mat and sit back up. Good job. Mm -hmm. So how do you Thank feel? You. I feel good. I feel kind of light. So why do you think this pose is so, because it's probably, if not the most famous pose, just mm -hmm. do you think it's the name or do you think it's because it's just so beneficial? I think because there's so many benefits in downward facing dog, like mm -hmm. I said, it is a good thing to fight depression. Mm -hmm. uh, when your head is lower than your heart, obviously there's more blood being pumped towards the head area, mm -hmm. getting nice circulation in the mind and the brain, calming your, calming your, uh, your mind. Mm -hmm. So it's just, besides just the calming of the mind, you're strengthening the arms. Mm -hmm. You're getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings and the legs. Uh, and your spine is lengthening. So anytime you have any tight back issues, mm -hmm. when you lengthen that spine, it automatically makes you feel taller and more aware. And I definitely want to be tall <laughs> and more aware. <laughs>